For this project, you'll need a weight for yarn, a 4.5 millimeter hook, two stitch markers, a button, and a darning needle. We're going to start with a slip knot and an initial chain of 28. So once you have your chain of 28, you're going to skip the first two stitches on your hook and go into that third stitch, placing a half double crochet. Place your stitch marker in that first half double crochet. We're going to use this to keep track of our first stitch of every round since we are crocheting in a spiral. This will help us keep track of how many rows we've made. Place a half double crochet in every stitch until you reach the end of the initial chain. When you reach that last stitch of the initial chain, you're going to place two half double crochets in that same stitch. This is going to help us increase and turn the corner. So once you've placed those two half double crochets, you're going to turn and start working down the other side, placing one half double crochet in each space. So once you are finished working back down the other side, we are coming up on our stitch marker. So we are going to place two half double crochets in that space directly in front of the stitch marker. After placing these two double crochets, you should have 54 stitches all together. So now we're going to remove the stitch marker, work one half double crochet into that space, and that is going to be our first half double crochet of this round. We're going to put the stitch marker back in so we keep track of this first stitch, and now we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, and when you get back to the stitch marker, you should still have 54 stitches. We're not increasing at all this round. When you get back to the stitch marker, we're going to take it out, place a half double crochet in that space, and then put it back. And now we're just going to keep going, placing a half double crochet in every stitch all the way around until we have a total of 18 rows. So each time you get back to the stitch marker, take it out and replace it so that you can keep track. When you have 18 rows, I will meet you back here and show you how to finish it off. So now that I have 18 rows all together, 
I'm going to tie off and now we're going to attach our button and start our border. So I am going to place my button about in the center and just kind of move it around until it looks right. Once I have it where I want it, I'm going to use my darning needle and a piece of the yarn to just sew it on. So once I have that threaded through the button, I am just going to tie a couple of knots in the back to secure it, and then at the end I'll weave in those ends to make it even more secure. So before we get started on the border, I am going to place the stitch marker in the stitch that is directly behind our button. That is where we're going to make the little loop that will connect to the button so that we can close our case. So I am going to make a slip knot and then insert my hook into one of the stitches to the right of the stitch marker. It's not super important which one you go with, just kind of closer to the edge. So I'm going to chain one and place one single crochet in that same space. And now I am just going to single crochet in every stitch until I get to that stitch marker. So once I get back to the stitch marker, I'm going to take it out and then place one single crochet in that stitch. So now we're going to make our loop that will go around our button. So I'm going to chain nine. And then I'm going to single crochet into that next stitch to make a loop. To finish the rest of the border, I am just going to place a single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we come to that first single crochet that we made. So I just made it back to that first single crochet. So I am going to slip stitch to join and then tie off. The last step is weaving in all of the ends. So I am going to use my darning needle to weave in that end that we just made. And then I am going to go back and weave in the end from the very beginning and then the ends from tying on the button and we are finished. Thank you for watching.